Um, uh, but have you done it? Have you done it, John? That so 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 mm-hmm. yeah. so yeah. Okay. Retweet. Okay, First guys. So so we're live now. Uh, thank you so much for coming on today, John. I know it's been kind of a tricky situation getting all this audio stuff figured out, but I really appreciate it. How you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, we thank you for your patience and uh, making it uh, on the show today. So uh, I don't I don't know if you're aware, but there was a study conducted recently by actually a guest we had on uh, several months ago, Startup Genome, where he identified using his, within his database that uh, Israel is you know within the top three uh, has one of the top three locations in the world with the, with the most startups or hottest startups that are uh, kind of changing the world these days. Uh, I think that's indeed correct. We basically have this incredibly dense startup community and today I was for example at a conference in Tel Aviv where there were about 5,000 people uh, hundreds of startups each year there are 600 different startups that get funding in the country Uh, the number today that was used about the total number of startups in Israel yeah. is 5,800. Wow. 5, <laughs> no, no, it was no, a little insane. Now, now put, we're going to try to put this in perspective. Israel is not a very large country compared to, let's say, the United States, for example. And, and I would assume per capita, it's probably off the charts compared to anywhere else in the world. It's an order of magnitude, more dense. And it's not just that in terms of startups, but it's also dollars invested. Last year, there was t- over $2 billion invested wow. in about 600 startups. Gotcha. Wow. Well, well, recently, uh, I'm sure you're aware, uh, Waze uh, had a massive exit uh, to... Um, you know, Google, Android, and all that, their whole ecosystem. You know, give us, I'm, I'm kind of jumping ahead, actually. Give us a little bit about your background, and how, where do you fit in the whole Israeli startup landscape? Well, I've been a serial entrepreneur. I've built software companies, mobile companies, fiber optic communications, and uh, I've also been a venture capitalist. I ran one of Israel's larger funds. And most recently, I've started our crowd. And our crowd today is probably the largest crowdfunding site for equity on the basis of money raised in the world. Okay. Wow. When you say uh, uh, equity based on money raised, can you explain that a little bit more? Like, in, What does that exactly mean? So if you look at things like Kickstarter... Right. And, uh, you know, the uh, other crowdfunding sites. Right. Basically, that's funny. <laughs> I'm having fun with the, the various technology things that we're, <laughs> we're using now to make this work. Right. But basically, the, the, the crowdfunding sites that everybody knows about, right. such as Kickstarter and Indiegogo, they don't raise money for equity. You can't mm-hmm. buy stock in a startup. Right. You can support a startup's product development. You can donate money. You right. can help an indie record get made. But you can't buy stock in a company. Right. Yeah. So it turns out that there's now a, a new crowdfunding model called equity crowdfunding. Okay. And what this does is allows you as an individual investor to actually invest in a company through a partnership so that you don't actually hold stock directly in the company but you hold stock in a essentially a venture partnership that has been go. set up specifically to invest in a given target company gotcha and what are the minimums and, uh, in general are, 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 are do you normally get in your through your platform we're now ten thousand dollars per deal Per okay. investor, minimum. Okay. Gotcha. We we had a fellow on yesterday uh, from Micro Ventures, and I think there are minimums. Jeff, correct me if I'm wrong. Was it around five thousand? Oh, you know, I, I can't remember exactly what it was. It, it was somewhere in the same range. Yeah. Gotcha. No, no, now, I think there are guys like Angel List and at Funders Club 
who have a thousand dollar minimums. Yeah, thousand dollar minimums. Okay. Yeah, I was just gonna but, say. Yeah. But the the difference, which which actually unites all of us, from the Kickstarter and the Indiegogo, is that you've got to be fairly well off. Okay. An accredited to investor, so to speak. Uh, 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 yeah, an accredited investor. You've got to be an accredited investor. Gotcha, yep. gotcha. Which last time I looked is a, a million dollars in net worth. Okay. And or two hundred thousand dollars of annual income for the last two years. Okay. Well, now that we got a brief overview on the funding um, and what you're kind of doing, how, how is crowd our crowd going along? How long have you been doing this? You know, give us uh, give us where you're at right now. Well, we started in February this year. Okay. We've now managed to close 28 different companies. Wow. Funding that's, rounds. That's great. Okay. Uh, we've invested, I think it's about 24 million dollars okay. as of now. And so, based on the numbers we've seen. We're pretty much the the biggest show in the in the globe. Wow. We have right now about two thousand investors, okay, who uh, have registered on the site worldwide, okay, and uh, we're looking at deals primarily in Israel, but mm -hmm. not exclusively. Gotcha. Well, uh, yesterday, like I mentioned, we had. Um had this uh, the CEO from uh, Micro Ventures on, and he ba it's essentially a marketplace. On one side, you've got the investors, and on the other side, you've got the startups. And their role is sort of vetting the startups to make sure that they're good and, and done the due diligence to make sure that the, that the deal flow is really nice. In, in terms of what our crowd is doing, is that essentially the same model? It's sort of a marketplace, and your job is to vet the startups for the investors? Yeah, I, th I think we are not only a marketplace, but we're acting like a venture capital fund yeah. that happens to now reach out to thousands of potential limited partners yeah. who get to choose their own targets. And so our diligence is rather rigorous. We are um, today. I was with several several portfolio companies. Okay. And one said, you know, you guys are rough. <laughs> I mean, they were, they thought we were a crowdfunding site, right. and we give them a pass. Right. But in, it, it turns out that we run these guys through the ringer. Good, good. And, and you're so you investors. Every, so you don't let everyone on the site, like a, like a Kickstarter. No, no, no. Be no, no, no. First of all, if you go to our site, you'll see typically four or five opportunities at any given time. Okay. And we don't want it to be too confusing. Mm -hmm. We put new ones up every week almost. Okay. And what's more important is not just the selection process, but it's what we do with these companies after we invest. Mm. Because if you're just providing funding, then you're missing it. Right. We take board seats. Okay. okay? Um, we represent all of the angels who are coming into the investment with yeah. us right. so that we aggregate that power, maintain preemptive rights, drag along, tag along. We act essentially as a venture fund, except that rather than having limiteds who are big institutions, right. our limiteds are now the average accredited investor. Right, right. Awesome. Ten thousand oh, dollar minimum. Yeah. Who these investors are? Right. Like, it's amazing that there's so many. You say two thousand, you have signed up already. Uh, what does the average investor look like? You know, it's interesting. They first of all, only half of them are Americans. Okay. So we've got a really wide global reach. About ten percent are Israeli. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh wow. And the rest okay. are coming from right now nineteen different countries. Wow! Awesome. Yeah, that's fantastic. And, uh, they're you know they're not just sort of the Silicon Valley digitarati. Right. Right. These are people who might be wealthy doctors, okay. real estate people, people with some money who would like to invest in a risky but potentially rewarding uh, area. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. 
So, uh, you know, I want to cover both sides, but let's let's start with the investors since we're talking about that. Uh, generally speaking, let's say I've got fifty thousand dollars to throw down on one of your bets. When am, well, what's the soonest? When am I looking? What is the time frame on the ROI on this thing? Are we looking two or three years now? And what, give us that picture. Look, you 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 never know, but the the data shows us that typically average gestation is about five or six years okay. for an early stage company to some kind of liquidity. Gotcha. Assuming there is some. Okay. Very often there isn't. Okay. I mean, in fact, you know, I would estimate that a large percentage of our companies that we invest in aren't going to make it. Okay. Okay? We, we, we usually hope, say eight out of ten. That, yeah. Well, no, no, we'll do better than that. I hope. Okay, yeah, I was going to say that. that. That's not that great odds. <laughs> yeah, 20%, no, no, uh, a little higher than that, yeah, at least. Yeah. Okay. No, but the, re the reality is that this is a very risky business. Yeah. I mean, in, in Hebrew, we just, we call venture capital something, is, is in Hebrew it says hon sinkun, which means danger capital, <laughs> i.e., we don't mess around. Venture sounds like it's Disneyland, like yeah. it's adventure land. Okay, it's You're about fun. to go on a journey. Yeah. You know? yeah. But in Hebrew, it's right in your face. It's, it's risk. dangerous. It's dangerous. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But there is a tremendous upside, as as hey. we now know. Amen. Uh, Twitter here is going to do an IPO. It's going to be fantastic for those guys that got in early. Spectacular. Uh, in fact, one of our uh, early uh, uh, recipients of funding happens to be a guy named Jeff Pulver, okay. who was one of the early investors yep. in Twitter. Yep. So, you know, we, we know how that is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those guys are going to make a mint here in a minute. Uh, okay. So t uh, tell us, uh, all right, so now that we've talked a little bit about the liquidity and the investor side, tell us a little about these startups. What kind of startups are you excited about? Let's say I happen to be a developer or I know a marketing guy and we've got a great idea. What kind of stuff is really exciting you that you're willing to, present to your investors? Look, we, we look at startups from earliest stage all the way to much later stage. Okay. Uh, so seed money, Series A, Series B, and onward. Okay. Um, you know, we've done deals at $1 million valuation pre-money all the way up to $20 million. So, and that's not where it's going to stop. Um, we look at the whole wide spectrum of startups, ranging from clean tech, medical devices, software, the internet, communication, semiconductors, big data, okay. analytics, you name it. Wow, okay. Awesome. And yeah. so another question I like to ask is, uh, are the companies usually targeted towards consumer or enterprise or both? Either, I mean? No, both. Look, what we, what we look for are companies with traction. Traction, yeah. I.e., they're not just an idea. Yeah. And yeah. even if they're early stage, if they're yeah. seed money, we expect that you've begun to build a team, that you have good advisors, that you have some design partners, that you have a prototype, mm -hmm. that there's yeah. something we can, you know, get our hands into. Right. And it's it, it's just not you know if you come to us and say look I got this great idea but I'll quit my day job only when you fund me forget yeah. about it right. yeah 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 so yeah obviously a prototype it, it would be great attraction customers all of that stuff yeah. is great yeah that, we that's like awesome. that. I, everybody loves that stuff, but I have to tell you, uh, it, <laughs> it's hard it, to get. It's it. hard. It's hard to get. That's yeah, it's hard to get. If it was easy that everybody would do uh, yeah, it. it. It's hard to get. It's hard to get the the initial press. You get the initial press, and then the spike, and then are those people coming back? Are they actually using the product? All that stuff is so hard. Uh, traction is, uh, yeah, very difficult. Um, so, but look, uh, how many how many successful companies, especially in the consumer or the mobile space, are there? from these tens and probably hundreds of thousands of different companies that are trying to get money. Right. Yeah. 
Rare. It's, it's definitely rare. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I just, you know, uh, I think that the cost of b- being able to build these things are dropping. You know, hopefully people can build these on the weekends and uh, over the next few months while they still have their day jobs, you know. Um, I'm a no, big no. believer. No, no. you got to quit your day job. You if know, you're you, really going to be passionate and you're, you're going to raise money from me, I, I don't invest in Yeah, you're, you're all job. in. I got you. you. Be committed, I got you. Huh? Yeah. You're, you're all in. I, 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 I went... I want your firstborn. <laughs> I love it. No, that's so great. Entrepreneurs got to be dedicated. If they're yeah. not completely uh, dedicated to the mission, uh, they're going to get distracted. And do you find that that usually leads to uh, a le- less chance of success? Absolutely. Look, you, you've got to. You're not only going to believe in yourself that you're taking that degree of risk, but you've got to have already convinced other people who are willing to join you in this yeah. adventure. Right, yeah. Nah, and sometimes that happens to be your spouse. Okay, I'm going to quit my job. It's and... always your spouse. It's always <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> your spouse. Your spouse is the, is yeah. the chairman. Yeah, she and, is the chairman. And luckily, <laughs> you're the CEO, you know? <laughs> That's a good point. That's a very good point. Well, okay, so so let, let's t- uh, briefly talk about some of the recent things that have been happening. Uh, obviously, you probably know about the Angelists and, and the syndicates. How, how, what, what is your feeling with that whole, with that with, with the syndicates? Look, I think that uh, Naval and his team have done a spectacular job of really changing the, the discussion. And I'm a huge fan. However, we're, we've got a little bit different model. Okay. Can you explain, are, explain your differentiation? Yeah. Okay. So we're we're focused again more on deep curation, a selection on the site, so that you don't have hundreds of opportunities right. at right. one time. Yeah. So you're doing it's the filtering. It's too confusing. Yeah. Okay. Um, we look for deals that we can first of all put our own money into okay. every deal that goes up on our site has my money in it okay period okay and it will always be that way gotcha. at least until the money runs out right right yeah that's awesome um, so you're you obviously know, you're you're in you are definitely in. i'm totally all in <laughs> yeah. yeah you're you in know the, you know the joke about the pig and the and the chicken who were arguing about their involvement in the average American breakfast. And the chicken is boasting about how involved he is in every breakfast. And the pig says, screw that, I'm, I'm, I'm totally committed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is definitely, they are definitely yeah, committed. He's all in. Yeah, they're all, all in, absolutely. T- tell so, us a little okay, bit about that's the... one differentiation. Yeah. The, the other is that we're really focused on what happens on the day after we successfully raise the money. Okay. And that means that we take board seats. It's not always our team, but it's a mentor who's associated with our crowd. Okay. We want to be involved in the company and what happens after we invest. Right. We are engaged in terms of crowd building. We essentially mobilize these thousands of investors who begin to help. And it's not just about my connections or my partner's connections, but it's about everybody's connection. And we've already had cases of uh, investors who've invested ten or twenty thousand dollars who provide huge value. One case we have, I can't mention the company yet, uh, we had a twenty thousand dollar investor who made an introduction to another fund who thought that he, he thought that the fund would be really interested in this company and we now have a ten million dollar up round coming on online right now wow. okay as a result of this introduction that's fantastic and nice, in, in, in your opinion in that specific case was it traction that was that exciting or was it their technology <laughs> Look, first of all, the comp- that case, the company has real revenues and traction okay. and is doing wonderfully. Okay. But for w- w- what we want to do with our model is to really not just create a new model for funding companies, but for building them. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
So it's not just raising the money, but it's uh, what they do with the money no, and how they well, grow these, afterwards. These investors who are essentially angels, who right. are choosing their own investment, they are passionate about the company. Right. And they want to not just share it at, the, at a cocktail party or at the golf club, right. but they want to get involved and they want to help. I love that. Yeah. Now, fr from our perspective, what we're doing is we're aggregating them, we're filtering them, we're reporting to them, but we're getting and channeling their input and help back onto the company. I love this. I love this. So let's say I'm gonna uh, let's say I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a developer, and I've got a really great product, and I'm starting to get a little traction. How can I? How can I take advantage of the scene out there in Israel? How can I uh, find pockets of possibly developers or you know other resources that are you know that are out there? Well, first of all, there are a whole slew of sites which you can go to to get info about the uh, Israel tech scene. And, and hopefully, with, most of this is in English. I'm talking about English. Okay. Today, the 5,000 people at this conference was all English. Okay. Because there were probably a thousand people from abroad okay. wow. who were there as well. Um, so you start with uh, Israel21C.org. Okay. Start with NoCamels.org or .com. No camels. I don't okay. remember. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a very cool site. Okay. Um, I would look at Globes which is an Israeli business daily in English. Okay. Um, there's our site, www.ourcrowd.com. We got a great blog and a, a bunch of uh, good, a very active Twitter feed okay. with a bunch of news about Israeli tech. So there's ways to get updated. But gotcha. the, the key thing for our crowd is that we're not going to stay an Israeli-only activity. First of all, we're not Israeli only at this point. We've already funded four companies outside of Israel. Hmm. And we hope that in the coming year we'll fund dozens. We've opened up a US office in Southern California. Is that right? We're about in Southern California. In San Diego. All right. San Diego. <laughs> so, so that that's uh that's where Jeff's from. Yeah, that's where I, I am. I was born in La Jolla. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so, so I mean, you know, let me, uh, we, we like to talk about geography a little bit because uh, Amul and I are in Southern California, which is like forever away from Silicon Valley. Uh, you know, we're lucky to still be in the Golden State, but, uh, you know, we love to, to fight against the Silicon Valley uh, forces often just because we think that great entrepreneurs can come from anywhere, and that's why it's great. Absolutely. To on the other side of the world, practically. Um, you know, wh what else can entrepreneurs do to empower themselves that might be, uh, you know, sitting, uh, you know, at, in their home uh, office or at their desk anywhere in the world? Uh, you know, what can they do to, to get more connected to the global tech scene? Look, I, I, I really think it is a global tech scene. And I think that there's a, a certain, how to say this, <laughs> uh, a, a certain sense of Silicon Valley being a, a house of mirrors right. where everybody's looking around at each other right. and they don't realize that there's some kind of world out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And there's really a serious world. Yeah. And I, it was interesting, I, I was talking to an entrepreneur who was so psyched about his company trending into the top 10 on AngelList. And he said, we were the first company I know of from outside of Silicon Valley that broke it into it. Broke in. So yeah. this, this, doesn't, this doesn't make sense. No, long it's term, an echo chamber. This is, a, this is especially on these sites like our crowd and AngelList. Right. This is going to change. Right. And it's really going to democratize the whole process. And we're very proud to be part of this. We're opening up offices elsewhere outside of Israel and San Diego. We hope to make announcements about that pretty soon. Okay. And uh, we're also virtually open to place, entrepreneurs from places like Cleveland, 
where we've made an investment in Cleveland. Hey, how, how good yeah, is there that? There you go. Yeah, yeah. Cleveland. That's what and we're talking about. We've invested yeah. in Australia. Okay. And uh, there's more to come. Gotcha. With respect to our crowd, how does the what is the size of your team? Tell us a little about yourself. How big is your team? How do you you know how do you handle the deal flow and keeping your investors in the know? How do you how do you all handle all that? Well, we have 25 people okay. working for us now, and that's a lot of people. Uh, we have hundreds of active investors who we haven't yet given them titles and badges. But we will, okay. <laughs> and and they're part of the the family. Gotcha. Um, we look at a a bunch of deals. I mean, we're seeing right now between a hundred to two hundred deals each and every month. Wow. And we select a couple of them. Right. Um, you know, the team are are great people who have dozens of years. A venture capital experience. Uh, I'm one of the old. I'm prop not. My, I'm I'm close to being the oldest. I'm I'm looking to Prescott, but <laughs> uh, but I, you know I'm, we're big consumers of the wisdom of twenty year olds, right? Or twenty somethings, right? Yeah, yeah. I because guess definitely... old guys like me, you know, no matter how hip. Or how tech savvy I think I am, my mind doesn't work that way. Yet. Well, hold on a second. Old guys has got the money, so the twenty-year-olds is still gonna talk to <laughs> you. So the, we want to create the best of both worlds, man. Right, right. Hey, we got the money. You guys are doing the ideas. Let's figure this That's out. It. Yeah. So speaking of the entrepreneurs' ideas, how do you think the uh, this global marketplace, uh, you know, all these forces, how do you think they affect the entrepreneurs and the ideas they're coming up with? Is it you know raising the bar for the competition? Uh, just looking, you know, you mentioned the Silicon Valley startups, and I asked about consumer versus B two B, and a lot of times these apps that you know people are making these apps that seem sort of frivolous, the next image sharing thing or whatever, um, a lot of the, the companies you have listed here are very high bar uh, on the technology. Um, you know, accurate Look, voice I, recognition I, I, in any environment, uh, <laughs> you know, touch screen on any surface, yeah. you know, really hardcore uh, technologies uh, yeah. that could kind of be applied to other things, you know, many things and not just some like, uh, you know, here, use this app to track your day or something. I completely no, agree with you. It looks like you got some technology strong companies here. That's what we look for. Yeah. I mean, I think that ultimately technology wins, mm -hmm. and that you know, I, I like to see great teams who are executing well, addressing big markets, attraction, good sponsorship, but there's got to be some technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, if you look at some of the companies we've got, like Argo, which makes this incredible. Hmm. Exoskeleton that yeah. is a product called Rewalk. It yeah. allows paraplegics to walk again. Amazing. Amazing. And these yeah. guys today at this conference just won an award in Israel as one of the ten best startups. So out of those 5,800, that's a big award. Yeah. No, that's huge. I mean, robotics, exoskeletons, all this kind of stuff. This yeah. is not your Instagram. This is a whole yeah. other no. level. So, so no, as no. As I love consumer startups and web apps and the internet technology. It's really, um, you know, motivating to see like big ideas and kind of game-changing technology. That's not just another thing that we can do with our iPhone. Well, on the other hand, we have a lot of very cool mobile and uh, social and internet. Driven companies, okay. so whether it's of room there. Curio, Curio okay. which uh, came from the founder of Answers.com, yeah, yeah. Bob Rosenshine, yeah. or uh, Zula, which is from Jeff Pulver and uh, Jacob Nerdavid, which is building a WhatsApp for business, just mm -hmm. rocked TechCrunch Disrupt recently. Um, if you look at uh, Easy Social Shop, which is literally in a single click allowing you to take your e-commerce site and turn it into a social shopping experience. Um, and they're get, getting great traction. Companies like Maverick, who are doing uh, social marketing for small businesses. And, and what I see happening is that there's a real convergence between the same skill set 
that's used by consumer facing apps and what are called B2B, especially when you talk about the SMB, mm, you know, right. the small and medium businesses. Because the same way that you acquire customers on one is the way you really acquire customers on the other. Mm. And these things are starting to look a lot a lot alike. Yeah. Well, you, you got to be. Uh, you're saying you're getting a hundred or 120 or so deals a month. Uh, you're. Are you, what are you seeing a lot of? Are you seeing a lot of internet-based stuff, or what do you? What What do you get most of the time? We get everything. <laughs> really? I mean, I today I had someone talk to me about a in-room hovering technology. Huh. Uh, we'll, we'll report back more as soon as I get the, the docs. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. Interesting. So there's yeah. so there's uh, crazy inventors out there building and uh, coming up with wild things that are surprising you, you all the time. You have no idea. <laughs> So what are some of the other things on the fringe? Um, like I asked yesterday about, like Google Glass. Are there any, um, you know, what are some of the other spots besides the internet web that people are attacking? Well, look, we've got a company called Enverid, okay. which is up on the site now, funding. Okay. Which, uh, or it's I just or it just got just taken off. I get I, I got to remember, but they have figured out how to avoid recycling dozens of times a day fresh air into a large building's air conditioning system. Oh, wow. Because every time you do that, you are wasting energy. Right. So they, they basically took technology from submarines and the space station and have now applied it to wow. big buildings. And they saved like huge buku uh, energy cost. That is amazing. Wow. Well, it, it sounds a lot like uh, you know re guys that are in universities that are doing research, perhaps even, uh, and then looking to find a way to bring this stuff to market. Yeah, it's a lot of that. Yeah. You know, yeah. and 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 we we like that stuff. Look, I know that other sites will probably be more, you know, sort of uh, hacker focused, and you know. Products that you could have put together in a couple of weeks, not right. us. Right. Yeah, so I could see that. A, that's a that's a huge differentiator. You know, a lot of people are proud of their uh, you know hacker ability or you know desire to just like kind of throw something together and see if it works. And first of all, I love hackers. I have nothing against hackers. I, I love you. <laughs> Make this clear. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, we're we're looking for hardcore tech. Gotcha. Very good. It definitely Old sounds school. like it's a lot. It's a lot more defensible. Uh, the barrier to entry in hardcore tech is really high. So, uh, definitely sounds like a very sound investment strategy for sure. Thank you. Let's let's see in a couple of years. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, I know you don't have a ton of time today. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on. Uh, before I let you go, can you give us a roadmap? Well, what's your six month horizon? What do you? What's going to happen with our crowd? What are you looking at? Well. By the end of this year, we'll have invested in 35 companies. Next year, we hope to double that. Wow. We want to do 60 or 70 companies. Mm -hmm. This year, we'll have deployed more than $30 million. Next year, we'd like to triple it. Wow. Okay. Wow. Um, we have 2,000 investors on the platform. Okay. By the end of next year, we'd like 10,000. Well, I, I imagine now with this whole jobs, at least here in the U.S., uh, th this whole thing is going to explode, in my opinion. We, we it, it already is. I mean, mm. we're we're adding hundreds of new investors to the platform every month. Wow, that's great. That's awesome. This is so exciting to be an entrepreneur that right now because it's, it's opening up, in my opinion. It big time. Yeah, yeah. It's so really exciting. So, uh, if 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 I'm a budding startup entrepreneur or want to get a hold of you, what's a, what's a good general email? How do we get a, how do we get tonight? Um, dealflow at rcrowd.com okay. is a good way to start. You know, you're welcome to reach out to me. I'm John at rcrowd, and uh, again, we thank you very much for inviting me on. I I, I look forward to watching more of your your blogs and your podcasts. 
Awesome. We really appreciate you joining us. I mean, to uh, you know, e explain this to the world. I mean, uh, like I said, we get clouded by Silicon Valley ourselves, and it's you know eye-opening to see what's all around the world uh, that often uh, we forget. It's right in front of us, uh, but it's hard to see sometimes. So we're uh, happy to you know give you some exposure. Yeah, Thank you very absolutely. much, guys. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I think we lost your audio, so we'll let you go. Um, have a great day, and we'll definitely be in touch. Thanks so much. Bye. Okay, bye.